here are the top 20 frequently asked questions about the change controls in pharmaceutical industry subscribe to channel for more informative content we will start with the very basic question what is change control answer is in simple words change control is the documented established procedure to control changes in pharmaceutical industry fda defines it as change control is a systematic approach to managing all changes made to product or system whereas ichq 10 defines it as a systematic approach to proposing evaluating approving implementing and reviewing the changes next important question what are the types of change control as per ichq 10 change controls can be classified into following five important classes first is minor change second is major change these two terminologies are very commonly used in pharmaceutical industry along with these two terminologies three more terminologies are used in ichq 10 these are temporary change emergency change and like for like change next very frequently asked question is when we should classify the change control as minor change control answer is when the proposed change is unlikely to have an impact on sispq that is safety identity strength purity and quality of a product then we should classify the change control as minor change control this change controls does not alter the process significantly example of minor change controls are changes in the sops or any qms document for merging of content deletion of repetitive instructions alignmental changes typographical error correction with supporting data next important question when we should classify the proposed change control as major change control when the proposed change control is likely to have an impact on sispq that is safety identity strength purity and quality of product then we should classify the proposed change as major change these changes are likely to have an impact on the critical attributes of the process procedures or product example of major change controls are relaxing acceptance criteria or deleting a test of raw material or drug product change in the primary packing material also shall be classified as major change control next question which guidelines are referred for change control handling in pharmaceutical industry answer is ich guideline q10 is most commonly referred guideline for change control handling in pharmaceutical industry this guideline talk about qms elements such as kappa change management system that is change control and apqr along with these guidelines fda quality system regulation and preamble and ichq7 section 13 change control is also referred for change control handling in pharmaceutical industry now the very discussed question that is can we raise temporary change controls instead of plan deviation the current thinking by regulatory authorities is there is no thing such as plan deviation pda and fda representatives jointly stated that if you need to make a change to a procedure for a short period of time we suggest change control system to document this change instead of plan deviations we should prefer temporary change controls next one what are the categories for change control or where changes are required according to industry process flow change control categories can be vary commonly change controls are raised to do changes in equipment or instrument document analytical method material or vendor facility process layout or batch size next one where documented change control shall be kept answer is fda recommends that required documents shall be maintained at manufacturing site or at location reasonably accessible to manufacturer and fda required documents shall be readily available for the review and copy records would be expected to be produced by the next working day or two at the latest ninth question can we stamp change control document as confidential before handing over it to auditor answer is yes being a manufacturer we can mark the document as confidential before producing it to auditor this can be done to assist fda in determining whether information may be disclosed under freedom of information act 10th question who shall initiate change control and who shall review change control the initiator shall fill the required details in change control form with current status or existing system then proposed change 
justification or reason for change, assessment of the change and risk analysis for proposed change. Respective department head, QA and identified cross-functional team shall review the change control form along with the supporting data for the change proposed. Next important question, what is the responsibility of change control coordinator? The change control coordinator shall review the proposed change by the initiator and enclose documents for completeness and correctness. The change control coordinator shall review the risk assessment provided for the proposed change and if acceptable, he shall proceed the change control for next review stage. Next question, what is the responsibility of head QA in change control? Answer is, all the change controls shall be reviewed and approved by head quality assurance. Head quality assurance shall review the change control log on monthly basis for completeness and correctness of change control log and take necessary actions for any overdue change control. Question number 13. Whether all change controls needs to be forwarded to regulatory affairs for assessment? Answer is no. All change controls shall not be forwarded to regulatory affairs for comments. However, submission or firing related change controls, validation batches related change controls shall be forwarded to regulatory affairs for assessment as per US and Europe variation requirements. Next question, which type of change control shall be forwarded to customer or qualified person for comments or approval or notification? Answer is product related change controls that is change in batch size, addition of alternate sources of API, changes in PPM shall be forwarded to the customer or qualified person for approval or notification. Next question, what should be the timeline for change control closing? Answer is timeline can be proposed and approved based on the type of change control that is for what change proposal has been made. Commonly, 90 days of timeline shall be preferred for minor changes like document revision. However, in case of changes are not implemented within the proposed timeline, prior extension shall be taken and approved. Next important question, what are the major steps for change control procedure? Change control procedure starts with the identification of change. Here we identify the current system and proposed system. Then next stage is justification or reason for change. Further, this proposed change is sent for review and approval procedure. After approval procedure, communication of approved changes is done and training is imparted to the concerned personnel. Next stage of change control procedure is implementation of approved changes. And final stage for change control procedure is evaluation of implemented changes for their effectiveness. Next question, how the change control form shall be closed? Answer is, after completion of all proposed actions mentioned in the change control form, Initiator shall send the duly filed change control form along with all supporting documents to QA for review and closure. Upon satisfactory review of QA, change control can be closed. Next question, explain about change control timeline extension procedure. Answer is, in case of changes are not implemented within initially proposed timeline, prior extension shall be taken and approved. Timeline extension shall be proposed with following three points. First, reason for not implementing or completing action in proposed timeline. Second, action plan to complete actions in newly proposed timeline. And third, impact assessment of delay in implementation. Next question, what is CB30 filing for change controls? According to FDA, there are moderate changes which include change requiring the submission of a supplement, changes being effected in 30 days CB30. Changes that fall into this category require a submission of a supplement that must be made to the FDA at least 30 days before the changed drug product is distributed. Last but important question, which softwares are commonly used for change control management in pharmaceutical industry? Answer is, there are many softwares available in the market for change control handling, out of which 5 are mentioned here. Trackwise, Ample Logic, Master Control, Simpler QMS, and AssureX. Keep watching FarmGrow. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to pharmaceutical industry.